The three varieties named after the organization are Narochituza Robust NKR8, NKR9, and NKR10. They were generated in 2007 to address the challenges caused by wilt diseases and drought which affect the coffee industry. KR8, KR9, and KR10, may they produce the desired attributes you want to have for the farmers. Launching the varieties at Mokono Farm Clinic, held at the Nakori headquarters, located in Chituza, Mokono District, Dr. Emmanuel Yamulemie, the director Uganda Coffee Development Authority, said about 50,000 resistant cuttings are distributed annually. Working with the Nakori, we wanted to have the coffee wheat disease resistant uh, plants, and that's why we have these varieties. Now, these varieties, in addition, you wanted to have also those which have other attributes. Uh, we are working on seeing that we multiply them so that we can give them to nursery operators and farmers. Mm -hmm. And we think by maybe next year, we we'll have more screen houses uh, where we can do multiplication. Tony Glenn Cross, the managing director, Nation Media Group, advised farmers to take advantage of the farm clinics. These events are organized for you, the farmers, and every one of us betting from the agricultural value chain to make sure that we can improve on how we do things. When I, I noticed when I was driving here to the Nakari Institute, there's, there's lots of farming activities along the way. So it shows that this is a, it's a key development area for our country and employs more than 70% of the population in Uganda. We need to develop it further. We need to grow it and we need to nurture it. I encourage you all to utilize this opportunity and learn as much as you can. We have a lot of untapped potential as Ugandan farmers. Together with our partners, we make sure the farm clinics rotate around the country. I attended the farm clinic in Hoima. We have done one in Masaka. And uh, next month we're in Lira. And then we finish the end of the year in Mbali. And I promise next year we'll be back at Makona. Coffee is Uganda's main cash crop. However, diseases like coffee wilt present a danger to the coffee sector, which the new coffee varieties will help to curb.